Hello everyone, I'm here with Chef Marcela Valladolid. She is a TV conductor, she's a chef, she's an author, she makes amazing Mexican recipes, and we are here at her home. We just made a delicious green smoothie a recipe that I shared, and now she's gonna share with us quinoa ceviche tostada recipe. Yes. So I am so excited for this. It's really simple. I have to admit, this is a recipe that I, I was inspired by a restaurant in Tijuana, our hometown. Did you grow up in Tijuana? Or San Diego? Part, part of my childhood. I was there until I was eight years old. Okay, well, I, I, did, I did 30 years. Okay. So I am wow. a Tijuana native, and this restaurant called Amabarre inspired me to create this quinoa ceviche, mm. which is very easy to put together. So basically you have the cooked quinoa. You just want to be careful that when you add the remainder of the ingredients that the quinoa is cooled down. Okay. This is one of the most beautiful properties of ceviche is that it's nice and fresh and crunchy and mm. cold. And you wouldn't want to cook the tomatoes in hot quinoa. Of course. Because that residual heat can certainly cook your vegetables. That's true. So what we're going to do, we're going to have our nice cool down quinoa that we fluffed a little bit with a fork. And we're just going to add fresh ingredients, many of them from my garden. Everything is super fresh and organic, so I've got some chopped up cucumber. I took out the seeds because I don't like it to be too, too watery, and those seeds always add a lot of water content, so okay. that's out. And then we have some fresh white onion, and then and my mouth is watering because I think all the ceviche <laughs> yes. flavors are like coming together. Uh, and then I have tomato. Also, you can leave a little bit of the seeds in there, but again, seeds always add moisture, That's and you don't true. want a soggy, soggy dish. Okay. Um, they do add flavor though, so you can leave a little bit in there. Okay. Of course, I'm gonna add some spice, so I've got two serrano chili. You can use one or you can use two. It depends on how spicy you want. I'm okay. gonna go ahead and add two. We're Mexican, so we're gonna We're Mexican, spicy, yeah. we're doing it spicy. Yeah. We're keeping the seeds the whole deal. <laughs> a little bit of chopped fresh cilantro. Traditional flavors, some fresh lime juice, a little bit of salt and pepper, Yum. just a drizzle of olive oil, cold pressed olive oil. I really like to add it. I think it does need a little bit of fat to balance out the citrus. Yes. I think okay. it's important. And also it gives it a beautiful sheen. Like it, it just for presentation, it really, really helps. Top with fresh avocado, a little bit of micro cilantro. Okay. I'm gonna season with some really, really good Malden salt or any good sea salt. And it's just a really beautiful, simple oh. lunch salad. Oh my gosh, it sounds amazing. Ready so to go? So good, yes, let's do, do this. It. has like a ceviche flavor, mm -hmm. like a fishy kind of flavor. Mm -hmm. Well, it's like the ocean. Totally does. A, don't say fishy, yeah. say ocean. Yeah, okay. It really, <laughs> it really has like the ocean flavor, mm -hmm. for sure. Yes. I, think, I think it's because we know Mexican food and we know what the flavors of ceviche are, so they exist in our hearts and in our minds, so when you bite into it, you're biting into all those flavors. It's true, mm -hmm. it's totally true. Like I, it brings me back to what eating like actual ceviche. It's a mind confusion. Yes, it is, but it's so delicious. And who knew that you can make ceviche out of quinoa? There you go. Yes, so delicious, nutritious, and vegan. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Thank you so much, Marcella, for sharing this recipe with us. Hope you guys try it. If you guys try it, uh, please take a picture, upload it to Instagram, and use the hashtag Ravana so that I can see it, so that I can like it. I'm gonna go eat this, and I'm gonna be thinking of you guys. Seriously, try it. It's amazing. And don't forget to subscribe here if you haven't subscribed. Like this video if you liked it and share it. Share it with your friends, with your family. Also, I'm gonna leave uh, all of Marcela's links in the description of this video so you can go and follow her and follow along uh, her recipes. She has a new book coming out very, very soon. And I'm just so excited to see it. And, yes. and you have to come back. Yes, I'm definitely coming back. Yes, and we'll make more videos, okay? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget also, follow me everywhere, okay? Bye.